Okay, so this video, we're going to learn how to use a HANA pH meter and refillable probe. So, this is the pH meter, this is the probe. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is make sure that our meter is plugged in. So, we're going to plug that in. And then we also want to plug in our probe. The probe is um, connected by a B and C connection. So you have to make sure that you are placing it right in the back of the meter. Otherwise it can create some problems. So you slide it in and then you just turn. There's also a switch in the back, so we're gonna turn it on. When you're looking at the meter, we have a pH reading across the front and a few dials here. The first thing we need to do is calibrate the meter. pH meters are measuring in millivolts, but we're interested in pH. And so what we need to do is calibrate it with pH solutions. Here we have a pH 4, a 10, and a 7. First thing we need to do is remove the storage solution from the bottom. So to do that, just carefully unscrew the bottle and set it aside. The cap can then easily be slid up and out of the way. You're gonna to wanna to have a beaker to collect rinse and a DI water bottle. You want to thoroughly rinse your probe. When we look at your probe, there's some important features. The bottom, there is a bulb, and it can be easily broken. So there are these little plastic teeth that protect the bulb. This particular probe is a refillable probe, so it's gonna require us to do um, a couple extra things. There's actually a fill port right here. And when we're doing our readings, we're gonna to need to open that fill port. Okay, so you're gonna remove the cover there or the cap, it just unscrews and set it aside. You do not want to lose that. And then make sure that anytime you're taking a measurement, you wanna make sure that this, this reference junction, there's like a little, little dot right down here, is completely submerged in the solution that you're reading. So we wanna make sure we account for temperature, so we're gonna measure the temperature of our pH 7 see that our temperature reading is 20 C. We want to place our probe into the pH 7 standard. I'm going to remove some of that water and just dab it. We're not going to get in, we're not going to try to fully dry that bulb, we'll damage it, so we're just going to dab it and then place it making sure that the junction is fully submerged into the pH 7. At this point, we're waiting for the reading to stabilize. Now that it's stabilized, I'm going to press and hold the temp key and then move the temperature knob until I get to the appropriate temperature, that our thermo the reading on our thermometer. Okay, at this point, we're going to adjust our, using our offset knob to adjust the pH so it reads that it is pH 7. Oh, go slowly. I'm going to read, move it from the pH 7. Now we need to make a decision 
about which pH standard to use to calibrate with. We either have pH 4 or pH 10. And this will depend on the solution that I'm going to read. If I am expecting my solution to be between pH 4 and 7, then I will next calibrate with pH 4. If I'm expecting it to be more basic, then I would calibrate with pH 10. We're going to assume that the solution that we're going to measure is going to be a little more acidic, and it will be between pH 4 and 7. So again, I'm going to get some point. I'm going to dab. And then I'm going to stick my probe into pH 4 solution. Okay, I'm going to give it a little bit to stabilize. Now that it's stabilized, I'm going to adjust the slope knob, not the offset, but the slope knob until it reads pH 4. Now that I've finished my calibration, I'm going to rinse it off again, and I'm just going to check to make sure that things went okay by measuring the value of the pH 7 again. Once you've calibrated your instrument, you're going to want to uh, take a measurement of your sample. But first, you want to determine the temperature of your sample. So we're going to, this is our sample. Which is also 20C. If that was not the temperature, you would press and hold the temp button and adjust the temperature knob until you got to the right temperature, which it already reads 20C. Then we are going to, again, place the probe into our sample. And get a reading. So once you're, uh, whoops, once you're done taking a reading of your sample, and we're done taking all of our samples. We're going to carefully return the probe to its storage solution. Return the cover to the fill port. Make sure that there's enough solution in here that covers both the bulb and the junction. If for some reason this bottle will have, has spilled or you've lost some solution, we're gonna need to refill it. We're gonna remove the electrode and turn off the meter. You're going to want to make sure you clean up your work area before you leave.